All right, Jason here again with the Subaru Impreza. Figured a lot of these videos don't actually only talk about Imprezas, but we, you know, they apply to Foresters and Legacies and Outbacks, and to some extent like BRZs and WRXs, but I wanted to talk about that drive train efficiency or drive line efficiency, power train efficiency, it all kind of mishmashes under the same topic, right? But, you know, things like bushings and lockdowns, right? I don't know what you guys' perception of this car is, but, you know, it's typically way sportier to drive than the original Impreza Sport that I bought, you know, eight years ago. And it looks the same, the wheels look a little bit different, but that's about it, right? But inside the car, or underneath the car, the drivetrain that connects all of the rear suspension to the, to the front of the car has been bushed up. I started wanting to talk about this because I recently uh, got under the car today and I added something like four washers to the drive shaft carrier. And this was something, a step that I kind of glossed over when I was installing that parent lockdown. The parent lockdown reduces the amount of play around the drive shaft, right? So the alignment of the drive shaft when you reinstall the drive shaft carrier, it gets bumped up a little bit because the bushings are like now kind of more taut, right? So. In the instructions, Perrin mentions that you need to add two and a half millimeter spacers on both sides, just above the, the bushings that hold the drive shaft carrier. And for about a month now, I've been driving around, realizing some of the performance improvements and benefits and the efficiency gains that are, that come with drive line upgrades. But there was like, it felt a little bit off, like something about the connection between the rear, front and rear wheels is I feel like a little bit of a little bit of binding for some reason. Maybe my tires were a little bit low, maybe my engine wasn't as peppy, I don't know what it was, but it just felt like there was a mechanical something or other, right? It's, so what I did was I dropped the drive shaft carrier about two millimeters. I went out for a drive just now, and I'm like, it is my butt dyno really sensitive? Or I don't know what it is, but it just felt like, hey, this feels a little bit smoother, like less binding between the front and rear, uh, the car just feels like it wants to to move forward again. It used to feel like there was the, the CV joint was engaging for an extra second and then, anyway. The, the drivetrain efficiencies of Subarus is really important to, if you're gonna tune your car, think about that because you're actually gonna get a lot of sapped power back, right? Like some of those bushings are, are, are inhibiting the power from the engine, going through the transmission, the engine mounts, the transmission mount through that center drive shaft carrier and then into the rear, a diff carrier and then the diff bushings, right? There's like all these different bushings and things that are part of the drive system that drive the rear wheels that are kind of soft, right? So once you add all these little bolt-ons, it really makes the car feel really sporty, really direct. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about that for a couple of minutes and uh, hope you all smash in your day.